Hello, Ken Alston here. I'm known as the trusted source for implementing corporate sustainability. Today, I want to talk about what sustainable development is. Sustainable development is a concept, an idea. The definition that everyone quotes is taken from the 1987 report of the United Nations entitled Our Common Future. The definition reads, sustainable development is development that meets the needs of today without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. In essence, we can't just do whatever we want to do today for ourselves and not care or consider what happens that might, as a result, leave our children and grandchildren in a worse condition than we find ourselves in today. It's a definition that's simply accepted and repeated ad nauseum without much further scrutiny. <clears throat> That definition is now, at the time of making this video, 35 years old. And over these three and a half decades, a lot has been said and a lot has been done to try and become more sustainable. The United Nations themselves have published 17 sustainable development goal areas and targets known by the acronym SDGs or Sustainable Development Goals. But the reality is that 35 years on, we're arguably less sustainable today than we were when the concept was first described. Clearly, we're missing important elements if all of this effort has not led to the outcomes we seek. One of the blind spots I see is the enormous gap between the simplicity of the concept and the complexity of the real world. A world economy with global supply chains whose complexities and frailties have been exposed during the COVID-19 pandemic shutdowns. It's one thing to explain a concept in simple terms in order to provide people with a paradigm shift or a change in perspective or attitudes but it's entirely another thing to actually change behaviors in individuals, in governments, and in companies worldwide. And I believe this is why we have missed the mark in terms of actually becoming more sustainable, because this gap is just so large. And in future videos, I'm going to tell you more about some of these other blind spots that I see and explain why this simplicity or even simplistic approach to how we look at sustainable development and sustainability generally is getting in the way of actually making the progress that we want.